Congratulations on your purchase of your OM Hobby M1. Now, if you're like me, you probably bought a handful of batteries. Unfortunately, you only got a cable that can charge one battery at a time. Notice these batteries do not have a charging lead. They just have a balance port and that's what they charge through. This lead connects to the balancing port and then connects to the, that part connects to the balancing port and that connects to your XT60, which connects to your charger. So basically it just wise off of each other. This leaves where you're charging one battery pack 30 to 45 minutes for a three minute flight. Now to ask somebody to sit down for what would be hours to charge these four packs that I have here seems kind of silly. That's where parallel charging come, comes in really well. Buddy RC happens to have a parallel board that works with these batteries where you can hook up 10 of them with that connector by itself and they all charge at once. Right now they're currently out of stock but that doesn't mean you're out of luck. I have a hack for you. Let's get this out of the way. This is my charging case. In previous builds, you'll see where I actually built power supplies for it. If you happen to have a parallel board laying around or a charging kit, like what I've got here, it's a simple, this looks confusing, but I had to make a jumper for this. If I connect the XT60 to here, now I have these two left. And I connect this, to any one of the balancing ports. Now what I have done is I can take this, each one of these batteries, and charge it to the 2S balance port on here and charge these batteries. Now, the biggest thing you have to remove, remember is that you're charging all these ba batteries and what's linking them all together is this wire here. Now I have successfully charged two to three batteries at 2C with each other without these wires getting warm, but I don't know if I'd go four. Your mileage may vary, try at your own risk, but I've been able to parallel charge three batteries, which cuts down my charge time significantly, with this little connector right here, with the one side plugged into 2C, the other side plugged into the XT60, which then bridges them the same way this connector is done here, and I can plug in and charge. If you charge at a lower rate, say 1C, you should be fine charging probably about four batteries on this, but it's gonna take longer. Um, I can't wait for the actual charging connector or the parallel board from Buddy RC to come back in stock. I will be using that uh, just because I can connect 10 of these at the same time. And that's, you figure if you can charge 10 of these batteries and you bring them from dead to flat, well, from 20% and charge them up to 100%, 45 minutes to charge 10 batteries. And let's say you're hard on these flights and you're getting three minutes. So 45 minutes to charge, 30 minutes to flight time. So that's a really good flight to charge ratio. I like to think of everything as flight to charge ratio. How much fun, does, how much time does it give your time does it take to put in here? And how much fun do you get out of it? So it's a flight to charge ratio. But in the meantime, until they get that back in stock, this is a quick workaround that may be able to help you if you already happen to have a parallel board that has an XT60 connector and a 2S uh, uh, port for the balance connector. Well, I hope that helps you. I hope that gets you more flying time until they get that back in stock. But it is something to consider. Try at your own risk. I haven't had a problem with it yet, but I have to put that little legal disclaimer thing out there. <laughs> Thanks guys for watching. Uh, if it's helpful or anything like that, like, subscribe. Uh, click the notification bell somewhere around, you know, wherever. And uh, if you like it, buy me a beer. See down in the description below for the link to the parallel board and where you can buy me a beer. Thanks. Have a great night.